of events leading up to this point in time are a little crazy. So I learned about two weeks ago that the mayor was coordinating an initiative to bring together stakeholders from across our community, um, business leaders, nonprofits, elected officials, and government partners who are either directly or indirectly involved with supporting our homeless citizens here in Houston County. The homelessness initiative started when I was on my campaign trail. I noticed that the homeless population was increasing in our area, so I wanted to see the city do something about that. I committed myself and council stood with me to do something to address this in the city of Warner Robins. There's been a lot of discussion about homeless efforts um, in the at least eight years that I've been here, but not a lot of action. So when I got a phone call from a gentleman I'd never met by the name of Brian Wise asking me to attend a meeting um, that the mayor had convened a large group, I was all in. I skipped another event in order to attend and what happened after that moment in time last Monday afternoon has truly changed the trajectory of homeless support here in Houston County. Katie Duga, who is our director of a Christian service center at Sacred Heart, was pulled into the mayor's coalition. And she asked me to attend the last meeting. And what I saw at that coalition blew me away. There were no egos at that coalition. Everybody was working together. It was fantastic. It, it, it was the best meeting I've ever attended. About a year ago, um, I come across the guy um, on Carl Benson that was in a buggy, which I've been dealing with him before, the homeless and all, but um, he stopped me and I flagged me down when it was cold and he said, Officer Wise, I don't have anywhere to go. I'm, I, I'm just freezing out here, can you help me? So I called our church, the assembly, and I asked the pastors, I said, can we put this guy up for a night in the hotel? Which they said, yes. So um, I went back to work, got my personal truck, um, Went back and picked him up. Um, I, the city marshal, Mr. Terry Wood, he supports us on all we do for the homeless around here and all. So I took him to the hotel and I said, well, what am I gonna do with him on Saturday? I don't have nowhere for him to go. Well, Pastor Carter that used to be at the um, table church, his card fell out in my truck. And I said, well, that's got to be the Lord showing me that I need to call him. So I called him because I knew they was gonna start the warming center and all, but not right now. So I called him, I said, Pascal, I need you to do your help if you can help me. And I said, can you go before the elders and ask them, can we all start this warming center tomorrow? And I told him the situation, what was going on with the guy and all. He said, I'll call you back in about 15, 20 minutes. And sure enough, he called me back and he said, bring him, we're gonna go ahead and start the warming center. Officer Wise called us, uh, can you do this? Pretty much on a no notice. And we said, yes, stepped out in faith that God would provide and uh, stood it up on a very short notice, uh, borrowed what we could from other shelters, uh, developed procedures and processes as we went along, uh, depended upon the community for help and uh, by God's grace that showed up and we executed for um, January and February. What we learned was the community is a huge uh, supporter of our efforts. Once the uh, word got out through various medias, uh, I mean, the donations came in very quickly and uh, really supplied that. So, but a lesson learned from that was that we had not near enough the storage capacity, uh, not near enough of uh, the, the food, stuff like that that we needed. But uh, again, as we progressed through the, uh, uh, the support, uh, the donations started coming in because the word got out some more. We hosted book club here at the chamber and before we could get done with book club, I already had a missed call from Officer Wise and um, went to a ribbon cutting for Huey Magoo's, came back and he's waiting on my doorstep to talk to me. So clearly whatever he needed to share was important. Um, I brought him into the chamber and he shared with me that the warming center um, operated by the table First Christian Church on North Houston Road was gonna be reopening um, for this winter season and they were looking to expand their capacity. April welcomed me with open arms and she said, what you need? I said, we need 33 beds, 33 mattresses, bump beds, 33 mattresses to go along with. She said, okay. I said, how quick do you need these bunk beds? And he said, we're gonna open on January 2nd. And I said, give me 48 hours. 
I honestly don't know why those words fell out of my mouth um, other than I have seen the generosity of our community. So from there, um, I, I made a couple of phone calls and reached um, Stephen Durham at Home Furniture and Mattress and expressed the need to him. And um, my biggest concern was, could we get him here quickly? And is this gonna be something affordable for uh, people to really you know, invest in and make happen? As soon as I received the call from April, I knew it would be kind of a tall task because dear during the Christmas season, uh, shipping delays are, are common, and they do, uh, it does take quite a bit of time to get furnishings in and things of that nature. So immediately, uh, I rushed to the phone, and I got on the phone with several of my vendors that I've made relationships with in the past, and um, asked for some favors in the furniture industry, and I said, we need this, we need this for the homeless people, it's gonna be cold, we gotta get them in there as quickly as possible. I received a call back about 10 minutes after I made that phone call, and they said, hey, we can make it happen. Next thing I know, she goes live, and I'm telling you, the outpouring of the community, I'm talking about business leaders, churches, I mean, it's just unreal. The community has come together in this to help us with this, to get this warming center off the ground, and oh, it's just unbelievable. By the next morning, around 10 a.m., we had all 33 bunk beds funded and additional funds to help purchase mattress pad covers, pillow covers, pillow sheets, and other items that these individuals utilizing the facility were going to need in the coming days and weeks. I was shocked. At, actually, I was truly shocked to see what April Bragg and the Robbins Regional Chamber and the members did um, for this initiative. It really happened in a blink of an eye. I didn't even know that a video was done by April Bragg until, um, probably until she was almost done collecting the money. One of the things I'd like to say about the Warming Center that I didn't know because I just met them a week ago was that this church was willing to give up their Sunday school rooms, their fellowship hall to serve the homeless and to have a warm place for the homeless to get out of the weather. And, and that is not an easy thing for a church to do. Just the teamwork and the outpouring of the community. Oh my gosh. I mean, <laughs> several folks here in this room, we were taking baskets full of donations, uh, blankets, clothes, food, hygiene items, all those things. Uh, it's just been amazing. It's so exciting what's happening here. Everybody, when you drive to Kroger, when you drive to Walmart, when you drive down Watson Boulevard, you see the homeless. It's increased so much in the last 10 years. And the fact that this mayor and Officer Wise, and, and all the support, the chamber's support, and of course, the warming center, the church's support, to tackle this problem, it is not an easy problem. It's difficult. But it is exciting that the community is pulling together to address this, and I'm thrilled to be a part of it. And I know there are others that want to be a part of it, so please contact me, and I will try and get you engaged. I wish one day we could end homelessness, and I know that's not going to happen no time soon and all. I'm just hoping the leaders still stay together in this and all, because like I said, it's just amazing that we've got Perry, Centerville, Warner Rye. I mean, just everybody involved in this, it's just amazing. I just hope it keeps up. I cannot tell you how grateful I was to get the call from and the visit from Brian Wise and then get the call from the mayor asking for our support and our involvement in this process. Um, the chamber is a convener. The chamber is a mouthpiece for the entire community. And so being a part of rallying the troops, rallying our community around an issue that really does impact us all in some way, directly or indirectly, um, was truly exciting. We are showing proof that we're just not talking, we're actually doing. We all stand together when it comes to this effort and we are committed to finding a building that the city of Warner Robins will own to be the future site of a homeless shelter right here in Warner Robins, Georgia to service the entire House and County area. I just can't say thank you enough and I'm so excited to see the best part of our community, which is coming together with a like mind and a like heart to address an issue that helps people that we walk by every day.